It's fall, motherfucker. A lot of you guys in my last video were like, the language. Actually, no, it was like one of you. But then in my other video, there was more people. I know that I haven't posted in a long time, but you can't pretend like I don't swear like a sailor. It's fall. It's not really, it's still summer. But for the last week, I have been dying to buy a fucking candle and get a pumpkin spice latte. Now, there's, there's an update to this. I am going to carry this candle wherever I go. I have the small version of this cup. It is a very fun cup, okay? It's the Starbucks cup. I have a small one that I use for my water and I have to fill it up all the time, but today, when I went to the store to buy a candle, they had Big Mommy cup. And in it, because if you buy a cup from Starbucks, you get a drink for free, right? So, can't not get a drink. I got a iced chai so we're really out here today okay so today we're gonna do some things see that just looks so nice that's so nice today we're gonna do some things we are going to like, i'm sorry look at that today we're gonna treat my plants for mealies uh and make sure that there's no other bugs around just in case so we're gonna treat things for mealies and then we're going to inspect other plants we're gonna water some plants and we're just gonna do some plant care today. Yeah, we also might take some propagations. I'm kind of vibing for props right now. I'm gonna show you some of my plants too that I'm like proud of, because there's a couple that are doing really well even though I have not been taking care of them like at all. Let's freaking get to it. idea doing your responsibilities Insane. I know so I was sitting there barbecue sauce on my titties since I did that stuff and things have happened uh, first of all I've kept the place looking very nice I'm very happy with it I had to go buy a new sprayer because remember I like broke my other one so I went and got this one Raven doesn't like it uh, but it's a lot smaller but it's easier to 
carry around. It's really great. And it actually um, sprays more water than my other one. So it's definitely a better model. So I watered everything. It's been a couple days. And I think what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna plant a couple plants. Two weeks ago, my friend Devin came over and uh, gave me Monstera Deliciosa fruit, which by the way, is actually the best fruit I've ever tasted in my entire life. I understand why they call it Monstera Deliciosa. He also gave me a variegated mikan. Way back when I actually gave Devin uh, some variegated mikan, like a, a cutting, I think when we first met. Just like randomly like surprised me. He, he didn't tell me he was gonna do it. Um, but he just surprised me with like a cutting with like six leaves, which is really, really cute. It's actually put out another one. And so I wanna like plant it in a wall. And I also today, I actually bought a plant for the first time in, I don't know how long it's been. I can't remember the last time I bought a plant. Uh, but I actually purchased a variegated Adansonii. There was a local lady selling it. It's an unrooted cutting, um, so I'm gonna have to like, you know, root it myself, but I'm not really worried about it at all. It has three leaves and there's definitely some damage on it. I don't know if it had thrips or what, but I've like inspected it and there's literally nothing on here. So I can't see anything that's bad, but I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on it to make sure that there's actually Nothing that's bad. It was incredibly cheap. It was like 40 bucks or less for this, I think. I can't really remember. But yeah, it was literally some girl just locally. She was like, hey, I'm selling this. Can someone buy it? And I was like, okay. I don't know. I haven't bought a plant in a really long time and this was exciting. So um, we're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna look at, I think, propagating my Elsamania today. I have been air layering it for a while. And there are two people locally who I need to give some to. And then I need to send some to Ella. So yeah, I don't know. We're gonna, let's let's do the thing. I think I wanna take a bunch of propagations of my plants and like plant them around because a lot of the plants that I have in both of these cabinets are getting really big and starting to be kind of lanky. And so I, I think I'd like to propagate them and like put them elsewhere in the wall so that the wall fills out more. And then we have like more plants. Cause I really want some like new rare plants. Like I, I've, I don't know, okay, I don't know what it is, you guys. But like literally three days ago, I started feeling like the pull of wanting new plants again for the first time in like a really long time. I don't know, I wanna buy plants, but like I don't wanna buy plants because like money, but I do wanna do some trades. This was just kind of like a, hey, I haven't bought myself something in a really long time and I love mint Adansania. I think that they're really cute. But yeah, I want to go plant shopping, but I don't want to go spend money and I don't know anyone who will trade right now, so, the only thing to do is go plant shopping in my own house and get, take a bunch of cuttings of plants that I, I already know that I love. That's the vibe. Anyways, let's go do the things. This video is actually sponsored and I do need to apologize to the person who purchased the sponsorship because they purchased it right before my life went like complete shit. So I'm very sorry it took me so long, but this artist is amazing and I'll show you some of their work. They have this Etsy shop called Zia Baint and they make incredibly nice like plant and pet home decor that is very inexpensive. So they have lots of prints and they are packaged very nicely and I don't know how to express to you how cute they are, but let me just show you the ones that I have. They're a little bent and I'm just so sorry because I got these like a month ago. They've been sitting on my little couch with all the other products I need to get around to. This one is adorable. It's so cute. Palathea orbifolia, and then it looks like a pothos and joy in the background. And then there's a little blue cactus in the background with a corgi and it's very nice. You can see the quality is very incredible. I don't have any frames, so I have to go thrift some because I do want to put these up because they're adorable. That I really, really, really like. With this little Jack Russell Terrier and an orange chair. And this is a peperomia. It's the, one of the other like rubber peperomias. What's it called? Orbifolia, obtusifolia. But it's so cute. Again, pretend it's not like bent a little bit. And this one is actually so cute because it has a cat in it. But this is a watermelon decidia with a golden retriever and a cat that are hugging. And this one's really big. But yeah, these are $14, they're so cute. And if you wanna support a local artist, makes really cute art in my opinion, that's very high quality. It was shipped to me, like I literally thought I had ordered a painting. It came with like this wrapped envelope and then like a hard piece of like something in there to keep 
it from bending. It was very high quality. So I have to say that I 100% recommend. And I don't know if she takes custom orders, but I assume that she probably would. Zia Bench will be the first link in the description. For an eight and a half by 11, it's $14. For an 11 by 17, it's 20. And for a 13 by 19, it is a $27. So no matter what, all of these are literally under $30. The artwork is so cute. I really highly recommend. Thank you so much Zia Bain for sponsoring this video. And I'm very sorry it took me so long to get this ad out, but thank you so much for being so patient with me while I work through my mental health crisis. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you guys have more questions about this, make sure you go check out the link and then I'll also include their email as well if you have any inquiries. So thank you so much for the sponsorship. I'm sorry, but are you joking? Those are adorable. I love this one. Okay, now let's go do the things. <laughs> to worry about pinning it into place because the aerial roots will grab it. So then we have this one and I already have two variegated added Sonia down here which is why I was like hmm, maybe maybe I put this one in a different place but I think it would actually be like really cute if they were all together. But I don't know where I would put it. I guess I could tuck it back here and it could just do its own thing. Like here? Cause then it's like there's some down here and then there's some up there. You know what I think it is? I think I just wanna keep putting more things in here because it's already so full and it looks so nice. And the other one is like not full yet. I got a new q 2 q and leaf as well. I know you can barely see it over there, but. Very cute. At least some of the rest of this moss that that girl gave me over the weekends. Cute. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at the Ilsa Maniae because I think we're gonna be cutting it either today or next week. It's very white. It's hard for the camera to even like pick it up. Basically, I've been working on air layering this for quite a while and right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves on this. What we want to do is check how like rooted it is, but it's going to be kind of hard to do because I don't want to disturb it too much. Also, it might sound like I'm being impulsive, but I have been air layering this for two months, so it's hardly impulsive. We're being very careful, very careful to not cut the leaf behind. Okay, so it's in there enough that it's like literally chilling. We are gonna be very careful here. I'm like, I'm trying to give you guys an angle of me doing this that doesn't have me actually like in the frame, but it's so difficult. We need to be very careful. For the gal who bought one, she purchased a two leaf cutting. Um, and I haven't decided which one I'm giving her yet, but I do want to make sure that since we have an aerial root there, and I don't think we have another one here. Yeah, so we would want to put these two together. Okay, got it. Nice. Phenomenal. Okay, so we got our two different cuttings. That's actually a very nice root. Okay, I feel good about that. There. That's also a very substantial root. So you might notice that it's a little yellow, or maybe you can't exactly tell. Hey. Morning. You got it? Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is so difficult to do without accidentally severing a leaf. Because if you sever the leaf, then the whole value of the thing is just completely gone. I wish I could take it out. Like if I could take it out, that would fix all of my problems. And I cannot. Okay. Oh. Fuck, that is so stressful. Well, it looks like the, the air layering seriously took off. I was worried that we 
wouldn't have actually, oh my gosh, there's a series route happening. Oh my gosh, Bestie, you're gonna uproot all of my, okay, <laughs> look, oh my gosh, okay. All right, there's only one leaf left on the plant, which we are going to leave so it can grow back. Cool, now let me show you what I uh, got from it. Probably the most successful air layering I have ever seen or done myself, so. Look at it. How pretty. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I know. I was gonna trade a gal five leaves uh, for another Billy Billy ATA, but I told her that I can't bring myself to part with this cutting. To be honest, this is the only leaf I have left of my own, and I don't think I want to say goodbye to this cutting. Yeah, it's just so perfect. Mm -hmm. So I told her I'd be fulfilling our original agreement of two two leaves, and I'm gonna give her this one which is really nice. Yeah, honestly, that looks awesome. Yeah, and then this is the one I'm giving to the gal who's local who bought one. Um, and then this one I have to give to Sydney because we had a trade. Okay, so we're gonna put our cuttings. I've got everything sorted out, like where all these are going. So I'm gonna put them in some recyclable cups I kept. I keep all of my coffee cups and stuff, put plants in them, so. Yeah, I have, I think, one girl coming to pick up one tonight, and maybe two people coming to pick up tonight. I'm shipping one, and then I did decide I'm going to keep this one. It was originally supposed to be a part of this cutting uh, as a five-piece cutting. I was going to send to Ella and do a trade for Variegated Billy ATA, but I actually told Ella that I'd be honoring our original deal, which was two leaves, because I just cannot bring myself to part with this. I just, I love it too much, so... I'm gonna do the original two leaves um, of this plant that is like super, super high variegation. Even the stem is variegated, which is super uncommon on Ilsamaniae. And it has really, really nice roots and everything. So yeah. And then uh, two of these other ones are going to buyers who pre-purchased a plant a while ago. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then that one, I'll have two plants and that'll make, I guess, doing trades like this easier in the future because there will be two plants to choose from and not just the one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Zia Bant, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you if you guys are members. I have a membership thing and I'm being more active in my Discord and we're gonna be doing every Thursday night Discord after dark for all members, not just members of a certain tier. So hopefully I will see you there. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. How is that real? Wow. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye.